the past 10 years, Cambodia has been one of the fastest growing economies in the world. Cambodia's banking sector has greatly contributed to this growth, meeting a rising demand for financial services. The uh, reform efforts that we have been undertaking for the past uh, 10 years have yielded a good result. And now you can see very robust banking sectors here in Cambodia. Maybank, a regional bank with presence in all 10 ASEAN countries, first came to Cambodia in 1993. By embracing diversity and inclusiveness and providing financial services with a humanizing touch, Maybank has gained a place in the Cambodian community. Our strategy for the next three, four years will be focusing on the consumer and the SME segment. I think from the SME segment, it is a segment which is very important for countries like Cambodia, whereby at a stage of development, and it is a really an engine of growth. From financing clients' first homes to helping small businesses grow and expand across the region, Maybank aspires to continue being a part of Cambodia's development for years to come. Another leading bank, the Foreign Trade Bank, Cambodia's first and foremost local bank, sees a similar potential. Originally state-owned, FTB was privatized in 2005 with great commercial success. Over the past nine years since the privatization, total asset grew tenfold, total deposit tenfold, shareholders' equity almost fivefold, and the number of employees twofold. FTB has pioneered e-banking and other innovative technologies in Cambodia and is now moving to the e-commerce sector and to mobile banking. We can adapt and deploy new technology faster than any big banks. Banking in Cambodia is an opportunity to be seized. High growth across sectors continues driving demand for financial products.